Uh, I've been involved with urban exploring since a young age. Uh, it was about four years ago that I started taking pictures inside the buildings. Uh, I just went through the thrill when I was a kid. Uh, the maddest place I've been to is probably, it's called Walkley's Mill in Hebden Bridge. It's got sort of like a, a museum inside of it, so there's all sorts of like weird set pieces they've left still there. All the graffiti and that, like it's just a, a weird place to go to. The hardest place to get into has probably been St. Joseph's College in Up Holland. But they've got like security on site, they've got like a 20 foot fence. They've got CCTV that's like relayed back to an office in Manchester. And then they've got inside like invisible infrared alarm systems and that. So yeah, that was a hard one. We managed to get in through a gap in like a tiny piece of window pane that was smashed. Managed to like maneuver our way in through there and then we are inside for about an hour or something, like dodging all these alarms, like moving to a new areas once an alarm triggered, but security like got us eventually. Uh, the riskiest place we've been to is probably this NHS building um, in Bury. It was next to our main road and the college, so we sort of knew we were gonna get caught, but we just gave it a go anyway. Uh, we got in through the roof, through a little window in the roof and um, in there for about half an hour then we hear sirens going off and that so we look outside and um, there's six police, literally six police cars, there's four cars and two vans outside because they thought we were taking like lead or trying to steal something from the, uh, so they just let us off with a warning. We went to a place in Whittingham, uh, Whittingham Mental Asylum about five years ago. We had to get like a train and then a bus to the middle of nowhere to get there. And that was a huge mental asylum back in the day. It had 2,000 patients. Um, it was, I think it was the biggest mental asylum in the UK. Uh, and it had like its own railway station, it had its own farm, it had loads of outbuildings and then obviously the main building. Uh, so we spent literally like the full day looking through there, but that was um, probably one of the most interesting as well that we've been in. The thrill of looking around like a completely abandoned place, like you literally don't know what's around the corner. Um, and it's just interesting like how nature's taking over these buildings and that like, and it's just great for photography like. Laws involved with urban exploring, I think it's just trespassing. They also, at that NHS building, they tried saying burglary as well, which like is a load of rubbish because obviously we weren't taking anything, but I think they can hit the burglary. If they suspect you had intention, they can also hit you with burglary as well as trespassing. So it's sort of like a double whammy, but like we're literally just going in there for creative purposes. Like we literally have no intention to like smash something up or burn the place out or something like that so it's literally just for creative purpose. Uh, as well I've used um, urban exploring sort of in other aspects of photography like when I'm doing taking pictures of models and photo shoots and they want sort of a gritty feel to it I'll do the, the shoot on an urbex location because um, you can get some quite unique shots in those places. Choose the locations through, there's a forum called 28 Days Later where people post up sort of abandoned spots or if we'll come across somewhere by chance we'll give it a go and try and get in there. It's, it's a completely new location each time like you, you've got no idea sort of what's inside these buildings. Um, it's like remnants of, of the past of like what, what we used to be like you can see but then also there's just some like weird stuff that people have left there like we found um, some pictures of some like some like school pictures of some kids and they, they'd had like the faces like scribbled out uh, we found blood on the floor we found like weird like little characters like hanging from nooses and shit like it's just just mad like finding these these spots and then coming across this sort of stuff and then 
you're taking pictures of it all, like it's just a completely different perspective of anything else.